And to start with, I'd just like to thank all the distinguished guests who have been here. And to, uh, I'd like to start with the executive member of the Society of Nepalese Architects. Uh, at first, our president, Sumananda Vaidya. And our vice president and uh, our own Anju. senior ladies architect, Anju Malla Pradhan. Yeah. Yeah. General Secretary of Society of Nepal's Architects, Sudeep Sharma General Secretary, Suraj Khan, and Treasurer, Arjun Bhatnet, and myself, uh, an executive member of PKC and the International Relations Committee Coordinator, and other members, uh, uh, Purna Bhadra Sapkota, uh, Suya Khaisa, Binay Bhran Shrestha, and Rakesh. And, and I'd like to start with the, our very honorable guests from the Nepalese side and I'll come with the international guests who are very uh, respected to, to us and 
I start with the uh, Vice Chancellor of the National Academy of Science and Technology. It's a proud moment for us to have an accident in, a, in such a great position. And, I, and I'd like to request uh, Professor Dr. Sudarshan Rastiwari a highly generated <laughs> Professor Dr. Bharat Sarma, Professor Dr. <laughs> S.P. Mathi Masar, with a Second President of the Society of Nuclear Architects and also the uh, Dean of Institute of Engineering. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'd like to. Should I make the program long? <laughs> <laughs> can I, can yeah. I just run quickly, Nebulizer? run quickly. Can I just skip the Nebulizer architects with, the, with their permissions? <laughs> yes, yes, please. Yes. Go ahead. No, go I'll just go, go, go with the go, go, President. Go, go. Uh, Vinod Nubane, sir. I go with the person uh, I go with this and uh, Sanjay Upreti, uh, Abhiris Sartar, uh, Pawan Shrestha. Soru, Soru. I come with So, <laughs> Prozol Hara, Sankar uh, Shrestha, Bhagwat Sir, Bhagwat Kodali, uh, and our President Soru. Our past joint, uh, past general secretary, Arun Dev and uh, president of Nebulis uh, Consulting and Architecture from ISKEF, uh, Rajesh Thapa. <laughs> I decorated architect, oh, uh, past, president. Man, past president, and a uh, yeah. very senior architect. Man, and, uh, <laughs> so, so for, for, the, for the most important part, I come with the international juries. Uh, we've come uh, on this on this uh, very hectic flight and have uh, accepted our uh, our request for this uh, reception. Uh, program of, of the very very day when you arrive in Kathmandu. But we start with the I go with the with the name here <laughs> if you allow me. And president of RKCA, Jahangir Zai. Architect President <laughs> Professor Dr. Ubekus <laughs> Architect from Philippines, Yolanda <laughs> de Vries, <laughs> as well, and, and I think. And his husband. Yeah, I hope the flight and the ticket uh, visa process was not very hectic as mentioned, as extended in email. So I'd like to welcome from Sudan, Heather Ahmad Ali. Oh. If I'm not the president of Jaipur Chapter of Institute of Architects, yes. 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 Only uh, secretary from uh, IIA Jaipur. Gaurav Gaurav. Yes. He will be part of Sona. He will be part of Sona. He will be part of Sona. And the uh, no fall scene. Yeah. They are yet to come. They are yet to come. And Vijay's please also. Yeah. They are yet to come. I would like to request Professor Suman Nanda Gwede to take a seat as a chairman if you all are. I'd like to request Jahangir Khan to be on the dice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'd like to request Professor Deepak Kus, he's the president in the ministry. Yes, so I just stop here and make it program very short and the corny too. To start with the welcoming speech, our General Secretary, uh, Sudip. Current President of Arkesia. Zone B, Architect Yolanda D. Reyes, Philippines. Zone C, Architect Bajra Bhatkuya, Mongolia, who is not available right now. Architect Heather Ahmed Ali, Khartoum, Sudan, eminent architect from outside Arkesia. And Sri Amol Palikar, an eminent non-architect personality, who is coming at 9.45. And our special distinguished guest, architect professor Deepakush, president of Indian IIA, 
and also Council Member Alternative International Union of Architects, Architect Ganinda Singh Sekhar, Chairman, IIA Rajasthan Chapter, and Convener of 19th Arc Asia Forum 2017, Architect Gaurav Agrawal, Joint Honorary Secretary Rajasthan Chapter, Architect Nopal Siyashim, Architect Business P. Sajal, this is good target. And our, and our Sona Vice President, yes, welcome. Welcome, Business P. Sajal, and Nopal Siyashim, welcome. And our SONA past presidents, past general secretaries, and our valid advisors, Professor Jibras Spokran, VC, last uh, former VC, Jagdish uh, Chandra Pokhran, and Professor Dr. Sudarshan Raj Tiwari, former Dean, IO Institute of Engineering, former Dean uh, Sri Ram Bhagat Mathe, uh, former Dean of Institute of Engineering, and all chairpersons of SONA Executive Committee. Official pen partner, Asian pens representative, and our current ex 12th executive committee members, as our representative from Sona Committee, committee on Green and Sustainable Architecture, Architect Sakar Sister, requested on Arc Asia roundtable meetings, which was held on Bangkok Island, to organize this award selection ceremony on Nepal, and Arc Asia committee orally supported. As our representative from Sona Committee, uh, or will be supported and provided this golden opportunity. We are thankful to all our ARC Asia executives and ARC Asia members. That was the day of departures for us to welcome you all at this welcome reception program at Kathmandu right now. At past, we had an opportunity to host ARC Asia Forum by our 10th executive architect at that time, architect Sorup Gurum Kone, president, and successfully accomplished that mega events and got an opportunity of global leadership of architectural fraternity as vice president of Arcasia. We also had an opportunity to host SAR conventions by 11th executive architect Sir Thapa Prakush. At that time, he was president and successfully held such mega events. We thank to all members of Arcasia and SAR to, for trusting and providing an opportunity and successfully organizing by our past committee members of SONA. Moreover, we want to thank from our heart to all the Arcasia members who contributed a certain amount and given a moral support during the and after the Gorkha earthquake on such panic situations. Finally, there are certain issues where Arcasia member countries can provide an opportunity for Nepali architects. SONA could be a bridging and as a facilitator, a scholarship program on postgraduate courses on architectures and training program for professional practice to know how the professional practice is held, sharing experience of professional practice situations. Looking forward to see you on 19th Arcasia Forum 2017, which is held on 20th, May 25th to and at Jaipur Rajasthan, at last, enjoy the evening. Regards and Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, friends. Nepal is a second home to myself. I've been here a number of times, and I see all my old friends sitting across in the hall. Thank you very much. I am, first of all, very, very grateful to Sona for having accepted our request to organize the Arcasia Award Jury at Kathmandu and that too at a very short notice. Thank you very much, Sona. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Arcasia, as you know, is a organization of member institutes from Southeast Asian region. We have 21 countries. Our SAR region has been playing a very major role. In fact, Arcasia was conceived in New Delhi in 1967 and inaugurated in 68 for the first time. So this region has a very important and significant role to play in the activities of Arcasia. And it is in that spirit, I hope, and I think Sona has very, very graciously ex accepted our request to host this program over here. This year, we have received unprecedented number of 700 entries for Arcasia. I, I do not recall any time before we have ever had even 200 or 150 entries. So it's going to be a momentous job for the jury to you know, deliberate upon all the entries and come out with the winners. Uh, I am especially thankful to the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can uh, sense that. But at the end of it, what matters is that we can do a very good job of practicing that. Uh, I hope mm, that the jury member, honorable jury members, will have a great time over here. 
Unfortunately, Mr. Amol Palekar, who is a non-architect duty member as per the constitution of the Akashia, he will be coming a little late in the night and uh, I am not having this opportunity to introduce him to you all. But maybe over the next two days he will be here, we will find some more um, opportunities where I will introduce him and I know we will find some way of you know, introducing him to you all. And uh, unfortunately, our friend from Mongolia, Mr. Rajab could not make it to this place because all of his at the last moment, his wife suddenly took ill and he had to take care of her and therefore he could not come otherwise he had Manu, which has always been so. Thank you very much. It's wonderful, it's wonderful to be here sir. Thank you very much for hosting us and uh, it's, it's lovely to be here again. We were here in Arcasia in the same space and uh, and visiting with the same friends and I think it's it's really wonderful to come back here and enjoy your gracious uh, hospitality. Uh, rather than repeat what you said, I think I'll, uh, of course, thanking all of our uh, members who are here. A couple of uh, points were raised and I'd, I'd rather that we discussed uh, other things that we're doing. Uh, you mentioned two things over here. Uh, so, Devi, you mentioned two things over here. You talked about the scholarship on postgraduate courses of architecture, and uh, you talked about the training programs for professional practice. Um, to know how the professional practice is held, and uh, sharing exchange of professional practice situation. Um, this is something that uh, it's it's wonderful that you mentioned that because uh, these are two things that we are already working on. Uh, that the, the professional practice uh, 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 roundtable and, 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 and a couple of sessions are going to be announced very soon and uh, you should have the program and we'll be, uh, we'll be joining in and, and I think it could, uh, if it is elsewhere, I hope that you will send people there and uh, the, whole, the, whole idea is, the whole idea is interaction. Uh, about the scholarships, this is something that uh, at the last uh, OB meeting in, in Singapore, this was discussed. And uh, we are looking at kind of uh, uh, setting up a structure of somehow uh, that can be self-sustaining uh, to set up uh, some kind of a fund that can start to do that and, and kind of look at uh, um, students who are, who, are very, um, uh, who are very intelligent and who are very good at what they do and kind of recognize them and, 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 and uh, support them through that uh, the, uh, ongoing fund. Uh, so that is something that uh, we are working on and we have kind of started uh, brainstorming about that. Uh, another thing that I want to share with you is that we are looking at two ideas. One is to be able to meet and exchange. Really, things that happen, the, the quality that happen, happens when we meet each other. You guys are meeting each other over here, we are elsewhere and there are 21 countries doing it in different places. When we all come together, that is when things start to happen. And as we, if you look at the last four or five years, what has happened is over a period of time, we've introduced uh, round tables, which kind of specifics, which kind of zone in on specifics and look at, look at how to resolve uh, or, or generate ideas or resolve problems or come up with uh, various uh, solutions to issues. And I, I, I don't need to remind you, I think, uh, the, the ones on education, the ones on, uh, you know, uh, 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 there was one on education, there was one on uh, green and sustainability, and it's continuing. I think we've gotten to the eighth one on green and sustainability. So I think these things are very important, the, and the new, not to, not to uh, ignore the, the young architect, because I think they are the number in uh, all over Asia now. I think the, the population bulge in terms of the young architect is, is being felt all over. And I think these are people that if we don't give them direction, it will be our fault and it will be our mistake. And I think that is something that we're looking at. So what I would really, this is now what I'm sharing with you is no, uh, no, not something that has been worked out completely. It's something in the, in the, in the works right now. Uh, I will be in uh, last, last uh, uh, Arcasia at Hong Kong. Uh, I had an opportunity um, to uh, talk to the European ACE president, uh, the Architects Council of Europe, uh, Luciano Lazzari. He was there and we were able to kind of, over an informal uh, discussion uh, before he left, he said the only time I've left is breakfast, so we ended up having a two and a half hour long breakfast uh, discussing uh, how we could do various things and, uh, and he's invited me to be uh, with them in May. He's set up uh, a meeting with the European uh, Architects uh, 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 European Association of Architects Education, 
and the ACE people, his own team, and we are going to look at uh, what kind of interaction we can have between European schools and our schools. But before we can do all that, we have to set up something. We have to set up some kind of a transportability. We have to set up something that students from one school and one region should be able to go to another. If you know, you know we have to set up some kind of structure where uh, this is the, this is where we are looking at the wish list, where a student from Nepal should be able to say, well, I want to spend my sixth semester or my eighth semester in uh, in Singapore or in Hong Kong or in uh, uh, Bangkok or in uh, Sri Lanka, uh, uh, you know, and, 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 and we should be able to do that, vice versa. So I think if we can start something like that uh, within our Arcasia countries and then have an interaction beyond um, of uh, an exchange of teacher and students with the Europeans, I think very positive interaction will take place, very positive change will take place. And I think that is important. I think that is that is the reason why we are all here. I think the world has been waiting for this. The world is ready for Asia now. And I think that is very important. And we should rise up to that and make it happen. So this is what I want you to help us uh, to participate in all of these. And uh, and this is this is how things should be done. I think the the uh, the round table that we held for Nepal when when we were when we were discussing um, that and the round table that we held for Nepal in Islamabad where uh, it was very interesting because when we were doing that um, I got a call from many people saying can you delay this a little bit and I was kind of worried why do you need us to because we want to be part of it and the day when it happened the 48 participants was a who's who of international architecture that day because they wanted to come and work on that so when you open the venue you know, things will happen, and I think that is that is important because people will come and join you. Almost any and and all organizations that matter to us were there, um, represented at their highest level, and I think that is important. So I think these are things that we are working on, and and I hope that you will work with us on that. So, um, if you'll allow me, uh, I want to give you a little uh, uh, a little uh, token that I brought with me, and so if you go this, you. Will. Ten that I've been carrying for you, sir. <laughs> and we have to, if I can make it open. Or should I just give this to you? I'll give this to you so you, so I don't poke holes in. So this will be put on over here. And this, uh, Thank you, sir. If you allow me, I'd like to give one to all of the jury members, starting with our convener. Did you ever start? Did you ever start? Did you ever my only condition with my brother Heather over here is that he has to present me with one of those wonderful uh, robes that he was wearing in Durban last time I met him. He looked very regal. He looked like a king. Yes. <laughs> And one for yourself. Thank you, Raider. Thank you. And Sudan. Now, since I have got the mic in my hand, I must make full use of it. Absolutely. I would like to invite my colleagues. Uh, I'll start from the youngest. These, these are the people who are working behind the scenes. You are getting all the emails from them. They are the ones who have organized all this uh, Arkesha Awards event. And I must thank them for here. Thank you, Yanin and Gaurav. We'll be looking after you at Jaipur. You, 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 you will hear more from them than me. I know. And uh, I saw 
everything in Jaipur. Yeah. And now I'll request Yanin. We would like to, you know, honor the office bearers of the Sona. President Sahib. Sumanai. Thank you. Vice President, Madam. President Arjun Bhastak. He is also one of the speakers. The SPM has been selected. We would like to give him Akisha badge to all our executive committee members. And we have the committee members, executive committee. Executive committee. And the boy, I'm the boy. I'm not Thank you, Master of Ceremony, for your delightful conduction of this program. Uh, the President of Society of Nepali Architects. <laughs> uh, and then we have this lens of uh, Arkesia from Pakistan as well as India. And other friends we have come from different countries like Philippines and Sudan and other countries. I think few are still coming. Uh, and our Nepali architects, uh, we have participated in this program. So it's a matter of great pleasure. It's a matter of great pride. It's a matter of great privilege to be present in this program. Pleasure because we are getting an opportunity to interact with architects from different countries whom we know because we have had this Arkesia conference underway in this country for a few years and we had an opportunity to meet some of them. It's a matter of great pride because we are having this important uh, design competition of Arkesia and a great privilege because we are architects and we are debating, discussing, deliberating about architectural design interests. Well, now, architecture competitions, you know, they go back to times immemorial. It is said that Archip <laughs> the Greek uh, Archipolis was designed following an architectural competition. They say that it was held in 5th century BC. Then we have several very famous architectural competitions which have been held, like the designing of that dome by Brunelleschi. Then, <laughs> Uh, White House design in the 18th century and then very recently we had this debate about you know, the design competition between Zaha Hadid and Chatnach Ahakir Kagmi. So, 
But in Nepal, if we see now, our guests must have already gone around and seen some of our uh, religious architecture, very, you know, beautiful temples and all that. We know very little about our own architects. Uh, and we also don't know whether or not architecture design competitions were held in the past to design such gems and diamonds of architecture. Uh, but then, now we see this design competition has started in Nepal as well. We in Nepal Academy of Science and Technology wanted to design one technology building and then we held an architecture competition. And Society of Nepali Architects, you know, they helped us greatly and then our former president, Mr. Gunud Nepal, was one of the jury members. And there were a few others who were the members of the committee and then now Rajesh Thapa and his team, they have won their competition in fact. <laughs> and then, then, then <laughs> and, and now, you see, the tender has been invited, so after three, four months time, that building uh, will, uh, you know, begin to come off the ground. Uh, and then we are also seeking to have further competitions because we are opening offices in seven provinces in Nepal. So enjoy this evening. Thank you very much. The last thing I would like to say, all the Art Asia country members for supporting us during those days when we had the devastating order. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, person of Asia, could I pose you just a simple question? Yes. You know, as a president, how do you envisage that uh, the quality of architectural <coughs> education in our region could be on similar benchmarks so that the exchange program could be This is exactly really what we're working on right now, uh, to work out the modality of how to do it. Uh, what we want to do, we have agreed that this is something that we'd like to see happen. And, uh, and and what results we could achieve with that. Now the process is the, the various countries, we would ask people to uh, appoint one person each and so sit on the committee and figure out exactly how to do that modality. Whether we follow the Erasmus model of Europe or whether we follow another model uh, to figure out how to do these things uh, for the professionals and for the students. We'd like to work on it. Uh, however, all that said, uh, this is the direction that we want to take because quality does not come by accident. Quality yeah. is something that you decide to aspire to and, and excellence will happen. It will not happen by accident. It shouldn't be by accident. Yes. So, so that's what we're working on.